Hello and welcome to another episode of Author Fan Face Off. We've got one great author, a school full, almost a library full of big fans. We've picked a book by our guest author, and we're going to find out who knows it best. I'm Steve Shankin, and my co host is, of course, the leaping librarian, Stacey Ratner. Our author, as you see today, Emily Jenkins, with her book, Toys Go Out. Welcome, Emily, to the show. Thank thanks for doing this. I know this is not exactly a new book. No, it's a, it's a, it's a book that I wrote a while ago, but yep. it's dear to my heart, so I'm ready to compete. You're ready. Okay. Not nervous at all. Totally nervous. I okay. think you're going to absolutely <laughs> slam me to the, the ground. The kids but. don't look so nervous, I have to say. But I'm a good sports person. I can handle good. it. That's good. And I was going to introduce our uh, library full of um, multi-grade students from Virginia. We have uh, kindergarten through fifth graders. They are calling themselves the Tuffy Buffaloes. So a uh, team name kind of taken from the book, which is great. So we're excited to have you all here. They did a one book, one school, and I think they're ready to go. Let's go. You all ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, Tuffy Buffaloes, this is your first question. Because the toys are the little girl's best friend, she takes them here. She takes them to school for show and tell. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. All right, Emily. The toys think the inside of the girl's backpack smells like this. A wet bathing suit. Awesome. Awesome. Very good. Off to a good start. Yeah. I'm going back to the buffaloes. All right. Tuck Tuck lives in the bathroom. But what I want to know is who is Tuck Tuck? Tuck Tuck is a towel. Nice. Awesome. Very good. Yes. I'm going to stay on the Tuck Tuck theme for now for Emily. Because Tuck Tuck is the one who tells Plastic. Plastic has a bit of a crisis wondering what sort of, sort of toy she is. And Tuck Tuck tells Plastic that she is this kind of toy. Plastic is a rubber ball. <laughs> all right. See, I've had all the nerves have dissipated now. You're, you're both doing very well. You guys <laughs> Can all I tell you a story? About yeah, plastic. Well, when I first wrote the first chapter of Toys Go Out, I didn't know it was going to be a longer story. I thought it was just a short story that maybe was going to be a picture book. And um, so I did not know what plastic was going to be. Oh. And so I just, my uh, daughter had a, a little baby doll that was named Plastic Baby. Um, and at first, the character was named Plastic Baby. Um, but then I took the baby out and I preferred that um, sort of it was a mystery what plastic was. And then I realized that I could not write a whole book where it was a mystery what plastic was. So plastic has to find out what she is um, in chapter two. And uh, that's how it came to be that there was a mystery around it. It was really that I hadn't decided. That's good. Did you guys wonder what plastic was when you first met her? I mean, I did. I, I, I wondered if we were going to find out. I like oh, that. I just saw her in a little picture um, in the beginning of the chapter. Yeah. Could you tell that she was a ball in that picture? Yeah. Oh, that's really smart. Because the illustrator, Paul Zielinski, made that picture very dark. He wanted to draw plastic in the backpack, but he deliberately made that illustration super dark so that kids wouldn't be sure what plastic was. Okay, moving on to the Tuffy Buffaloes. Um, Lumpy needs a wash after getting this on his fur at a picnic. Hmm. What is that? Peanut butter. Yeah, you guys know your stuff. That's awesome. Okay. And then, yes, and then to follow up with that, Lumpy feels like he has, he he needs to hide. He wants to avoid the washing machine. So where does he hide, Emily? I'm not sure the answer to this. I think he hides under the bed. No, kids uh, are shaking their heads. That's he a bad sign, yeah. Where does he hide? 
closet. He hides in the closet. And is it who's in the closet? Is there anybody in the closet? Well, around the end. At the end, there's the towels in the closet. No, different book. Different book. Okay, see, what do I know? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, our, that's good. The buffaloes, they know their stuff. They're taking the lead. Okay, we're going back to the toughy buffaloes who now have a lead, but it's not over. Not over by a long shot. All right, we're going to talk about Stingray now. Where does Stingray sleep? Very important detail. Okay, no, I'm here. In the high bed. Uh, Very good. The high bed, not just the bed, the high bed. And that's a big deal for the toys. Who gets to sleep where? And Emily, the washing machine plays a, a key role in the story, too. What is the washing machine's name? His name is Frank. Nice. That was tough, but well done. Okay. I also, and for the toughy buffaloes, they um, the toys kind of have a conversation about which color is best. And so according to Stingray, what color is better than orange? Blue. Woo! Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You guys oh, are amazing. Was... Yep. Okay. I hope you all noticed that on the cover, Stingray is blue. <laughs> Yes. Right. So this is oh yeah. Oh, there's your stingray. You sometimes people show me their stingrays and they're kind of gray, but you have a properly blue stingray. That's really great. Awesome. Okay, Emily. When plastic finds out she is going to the beach, what game is she playing with stingray? Oh, I have no idea. Oh no. Take a minute, think about it. Playing it, yeah. Like, with Plastic is playing it with Stingray. Yeah, at the, the beach. It's fine, not at the beach. When the, like when they're finding, she's finding out. Oh, you're going to the beach. Oh, checkers, maybe. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice, pulled it out. Okay. All right. Well, congratulations to the Tuffy Buffalo. You guys, the game. you guys are amazing. I you just knew so much, and it makes me feel so lucky to have. Um, such close readers. Nice stories. Fan face, you will know more. Author fan face.